Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this video is going to be a category video. I'm basically going to go in and I'm going to show you some things to look for. This is not a deep dive research video like I typically do, where I pop up uh, different screen shares of particular items. This is going to be narrowed down into like five categories. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. So going to be quicker, I think, unless I get intrigued by something. But um, I'm going to show you what to look for. So let's get started here. And we're going to go over here and we are going to start with black and white photos. So what I typed into the search bar was black and white photos Halloween, because that is one thing that I know is typically a bolo. So if you can find Halloween themed black and white photos, they can definitely be a bolo. Now, this one is an antique cabinet card. And, you know, it's really just interesting. <laughs> just a, a very interesting photo. That one went for 382. So, you know, that's probably whoops, not going to be something that we're going to run into. But hey, you never know, right? Somebody else did. Bunny Yeager. I don't know who she is. I'm guessing she's somebody famous. Um, so that one went for 201. But this is just vintage 40s family life photo album, Christmas, birthday, Halloween, car crash, fire. So if you actually click on it and go in, it is a photo album. So if you can find old vintage photo albums with a bunch of photos in it, I mean, they're just people, but people buy pictures of people. I know it's crazy, right? This lady here is a circus sideshow lady and, you know, kind of has that Halloween-y theme. Um, so they must have put it under that. But, you know, they're putting different keywords in the title to try to bring people in. I am not verifying any of these. We are just going to do a quick um, going through some solds just to give you guys an idea and let you know that these things do sell for big money. Now, I will also tell you a lot of them sell for big money but more of them sell as bread and butter. So um, it really just depends on the content of the photo. So here's one from the 1940s. It says people, strange masks, costumes, Halloween, abstract. And you can just see here, it's an old black and white photograph of people in costumes, $92 on that one. This is a large poster. So that one's a little bit different and it really didn't go that high another photo album. So, you know, not a whole lot of Halloween. I think maybe people probably hold a lot of their Halloweens for Bunny Yeager must be somebody special. Um, and she is, she does have clothing on. I checked before the video. It's a bikini, but yeah. So, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I got distracted. Oh, I didn't think you guys, I didn't want you guys to think I was showing something bad. Uh, so, Anyway, Halloween content. So this one is a 10 type and we're going to go into 10 types. Uh, they do range. See, we're now down in the $50. But Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, I think that people sometimes hold their Halloween items for closer to Halloween. Do I think you need to? Absolutely not. But I do think probably a lot of people do because that's when people are really probably looking for them and going to pay the most. But look at this. These are snapshots from the 50s. I don't know what it actually sold for, but Spider-Man Halloween costume. Woman in sparkling dress. So just a, from the 1920s. I have no idea how to date these things, but um, definitely something to uh, keep in mind. This is uh, from Two Boys Halloween 4167. And that one was in uh, uh, Serbia. Sorry. Snapshot photo Halloween. $39.99. So just different Halloween featured um, content. This one's pretty cool. And this goes for postcards also, vintage postcards that are Halloween themed. They actually go for more. But this is a 1940s photo negative of a little boy Halloween white skeleton, $32.50 for a negative. And I'm just going to kind of scroll through here. And you can see a lot of them, even if they are Halloween, 
might not go for crazy money. Like this is from the 1950s. It's a snapshot. It went for $27.99. Is that crazy money? No. But if you can get a bunch of photos for a decent price and have 10 or 15 in here that go for 25 bucks each, that's all going to add up. A girl in a genie dress. So here's just some other ones. This one is a ghost Halloween costume from the 40s, $29.95. So definitely a very, very big range of um, different, different prices. So bread and butter to big money. Look at this one. <laughs> that one's not as old, but $24.99 on that. Okay, so the other thing you can look for is Christmas. So people like Christmas themed photographs. So we're just going to go through some of these right here. This is the Muppets 1970s original photo. Again, probably not something we're going to find, but um, definitely things to look for. Vintage Hollywood, the big broadcast of 1938 Christmas Santa pinup photograph. So if you can figure out what the photo is of and use good keywords in your title, you're going to get more for your photo. 143.50. So I mean, they had to figure out what exactly keywords to put in that title. Here's just an old push cart street vendor, 130 on that one. There's that uh, 40s pictures again, because it had Christmas and Halloween in the title. Christmas decorations, trees, dolls, lights, horse, young girl, amazing. So this is a very basic vintage Christmas photo and it sold for 10550. Here's another one, A Wonderful Life, James Stewart. That is a vintage negative. So, a, you know, a lot of the ones that go for bigger money have famous people in them. But again, you have to identify them. So just going to scroll here and then we're going to get into some bigger money ones here soon. People also will sell these in big lots. So you can buy the big lots and then part them out. I don't know what some of these are. So let's move on to black and white photos that are war themed. Um, these seem to go for crazy money. So this is a photograph album, antique brass tooled leather, Civil War era. And I don't know what the offer was that was taken, but wow, I bet this went for big money right there. So $787 for this one. And, you know, it's got really, it's got detail. It's tell, Fort Meade, South Dakota. So, you know, those are keywords that people can look up. Ambro, or let's see, Ambrotype, Ambrotype, quarter plate Ambrotype. So that must be a type of photo. Um, different things go for different money. So if you can educate yourself and learn, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now, because I don't know a lot about photographs. And I know there's a big market for it if you can figure out what to look for. So this one comes in this cool little case, 775, uh, 1915 World War. So 690 Civil War. I mean, they've got dates and, you know, these have frames, just really um, incredible pieces of history, you know. Um, but again, you have to know how to come up with those keywords that are going to draw people to your listing. CDV photo. I'm not sure what CDV stands for. If anybody knows, let me know. Look at this old photograph. Marching band photo. Original Civil War marching band. It's like in really rough shape and it still went for $511. So just to give you guys an idea, if you can find old war photos, definitely some of them are going to go for big money. Many of them are just going to be bread and butter. So um, you just got to do your research. But it only takes a couple, you know. Uh, another thing is Civil War or war um, letters, ephemera, letters that people have written back and forth during the war. Um, if you can find those, those are also something that go for a lot of money. I think that this says payroll document. So 299 on that. But these are definitely things to look for. I don't do a whole lot of it because I'm just not super educated in it. But uh, it is definitely something that I need to keep my eyes open for because some of these are 
way, way, way big money and incredible. Incredible pieces of history for sure. Okay, cabinet photos in general. All right, so we got this one here. It looks like it sold for 3550 with 43 bids, but they relisted it for 3000 and um, it looks like a best offer was accepted. So I don't know on that one, but these are cabinet cards. And again, what is on the cabinet card is going to be what sells the item. I mean, some cabinet cards are going to go for 10 or 15 bucks. Some may not even be worth that. Um, but this is from the 1900s. It's an eight by 10 sheriff, $2,633. I have no idea why it went for so much. Bob Meldrum, maybe that's somebody famous. I'm guessing it probably is. Harvard or Yale cabinet card album. So that's, you know, pretty specific. This guy right here, the tattooed man, check it out. $2,276 for this guy. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Picture of a photographer, Fosberg Kurtzen. So he must have been a famous photographer. $1,913. Uh, cabinet card of a circus flame spitter. Now that is interesting. 1585 Another tattooed man. $1,500. Yale College football photo. $1,500. Wow. University of Illinois football team fighting. But this is from 1893. So, you know, these are so old. They're from the 1800s. Look at this guy, tattooed guy from 1893. I didn't even know they did tattoos back then. Tattooed lady, 1,151. So really, really just some uh, interesting photos here. Here's some pictures of some kids, $984. Wow. So this one's military. You get all, all of these for $910, five pieces. Native American, $855. Oscar Wilde and Fur Coat, $812. So a lot of these are really, really special, and that's why they're going for a lot of money. But um, again, the content of the photo, look at this. This is a CDV cabinet cards, 10 types, kids groups, men, women, antique photos, this is over 400 of these and it's scratched out from 750. So they took a best offer. So that could have been a nice reseller lot depending on the content of the photos. Fish head person in costume swimming on grass lawn abstract cabinet photo. What on earth is from the 1880s? What is happening here? I've got to go into this one. $717. Is it going to open? There we go. Okay. So I was having trouble. I showed it in my recent reseller vlog. I couldn't get the actual photos to open up and I was having such a hard time with it. And I put it in my video and I asked for help and, um, somebody in the comments, I can't remember who now mentioned to, I needed to clear my, is it called cache? And I did that, you guys, and it's working. So I'm super excited. So now I can bring you guys uh, more videos like this. But I really like uh, looking on Mercari. What on earth is happening here? I guess that's supposed to be a fish head. <laughs> $717 for that. Pretty incredible, right? Now I can't get back to where I was. Let's see. Here we go. Um Let's look at a few more here just because it's fun. Bicycle and Rider, 698. Abraham Lincoln. Um, I have an Abraham Lincoln. It is a lookalike. Oh, my goodness. It's listed. I don't know if it's him or not. I don't even remember where I got it. But he is a he is a lookalike for sure. But nobody's bought it. So I don't think it's him. Uh, another tattoo lady. The tattoo people seem to do really well. The bodybuilders here. 685 for that one. So pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting category for sure. I know Donatella Bottolino over on her YouTube channel, uh, she will do uh, videos where she's showing black and white ca uh, photos, cabinet photos, stuff like this. And she just gets into like story time with them and will show them, but she sells them on her uh, YouTube channel. 
So definitely check her out as a resource for buying these things. Uh, this is a woman bodybuilder. Look at this. And she is also over on Whatnot. She's selling over there also. And she's just Donatella on Whatnot. And I do have a link down below. If you want to join Whatnot, you will get $15 to shop um, if you join with my referral link down below. So definitely check that out and follow me and follow Donatella over on um, YouTube. I'm sorry, on Whatnot. Okay. Here we go with 10 types. So what are 10 types? They are 10 photos. Um, sometimes certain photos are tinted. So it'll be a black and white photo and it'll have a tint of like color on it, maybe on the cheeks or on the clothing or something like that. If they are tinted, sometimes they can go for more. Um, that's just my experience. I haven't sold a lot of these types of things, but when I find them and I I, I will try it. I'm always up for trying new things, but I'm definitely not an expert in this category. This is another word that you want to look for, but I don't know how to say it. Um, I'm not even going to try, but this is what it is. If you can find these, these are also a big money bolo, but somebody sold all of these together for $2,200. So we've got Civil War, um, Old West photo, $2,000. Just tons and tons of over a thousand dollar items, all 10 types. All right, so these titles again, um, the people that create the listings are coming up with them. The more detail you have, if you know a date, if you know the person in the photo, always include that information. Um, but yeah, 10 types. And you'll know it if you see it. They're 10. They're literally 10. So be on the lookout for those as well. Um, pretty fun, right? Really just old, old history on these 10 types and uh, cabinet cards. I mean, these photos are old, old, old. And, you know, there's not tons of them available because a lot of times photos weren't taken back in this um, era. So they are harder to find. There you have it. Uh, let's look at Mercari. I did look up solds over here just because I was curious. Uh, black and white photos, really hard to look up. I tried cabinet cards. Search didn't really bring up anything. There were so many other things mixed in. One thing about Mercari is if anybody puts anything in the description, it kind of messes up when you try to filter. That's the one thing about searching solds on Mercari. But Tintype did pretty good. You can see here that there's definitely some decent solds on Mercari for the Tintypes. And it also may be a good place to source because somebody sold all of these Tintypes for $65. So if you're not on Mercari, definitely consider getting on there. Even if you don't want to sell on Mercari, it's a great place to buy. $40 for all of these. And those are that word, whatever that word is. Let's go to active and see what they have for sale. If you guys are interested in checking out um, Mercari, I do have a referral link down below. If you click on that, you're going to get $10 to shop. And then you're going to get um, an additional $10 once you sell $100. I'm sorry, an additional $20 once you sell $100 worth of stuff. So yeah, if you're looking for some photos, you may be able to find, um, let me put in photo lot. Let's add lot to the title. And then you can just kind of look through. Sometimes people on Mercari, they just want to sell it all as one big lot. Here's one that sold for 37 of them for 76. I don't know if that's a great deal um, or not. I really just don't know enough about it. But definitely check out Mercari. Even if you don't want to sell, it might be a great place for you to look for items to sell. All right, you guys, let me know. I actually was not that short of a video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, do you sell these types of items? How do you do? Uh, again, there's going to be a lot of them that are going to be bread and butter. They're not all, all going to go for crazy money. But those are just some things that you can look for. So we're going to call this a bolo category 
video. Thank you so much for being here. I have a whole bunch of videos like this. Typically, I will pop up the different screenshots and show you specific ones. With this one, I wanted to be a little more generic because there were just so many interesting ones that I thought it was important for you to see it in a different format. So let me know, did you hate this format? Did you like this format? Um, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know how you found the channel and thanks for watching.